for the entrance him we shall take a65 i place my hand in your hand i place my hand in your hand and joyously i walk along with you o oh lord i place my hand in your hand and joyously i walk along with you o oh lord you call me friend no longer slave your loving self for me you gave and all mankind you came to say so i'll follow you i place my hand in your hand and joyously i walk along with you o oh lord i place my hand in your hand and joyously i walk along with you o oh lord my dear friends we shall offer this mass for these two intentions for the eternal repose of maria piedad de mello and for all the departed members of the family of antony and margaret in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit my dear friends today we the church remembers remember saint antony of the desert he is a saint of the 3rd century 3rd 4th century who spent his life as an ascetic in the deserts of egypt first he lived in a cave for around 15 years then he lived on a mountain for around 20 years people who are living a cenobitic life means the religious the monks who are living in communities they used to come to saint anthony for advice for spiritual direction and very deep was his spirituality he was very much connected to god and moved by the holy spirit he would guide he would direct people let us thank and praise god for this saint and ask his intercession for each one of us so that we may also grow in our spirituality and today's liturgy brings to our focus that we all need to be obedient to god's word if we want to grow spiritually disobedience to god displeases god disobedience to god invites destruction of our lives let us ask for jesus's grace in this celebration that we may always listen to his word and obey and for the times we have been disobedient for the times we have been rebellious and stubborn not willing to do what god wants us to do let us ask for his pardon all together i confess, I confess to almighty god, god and to you my brothers, brothers and sisters that, that i have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and, and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask blessed mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters 
to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Bring to mind your intention. Let us specially pray for those who are down with COVID. O God, who brought the abbot Saint Anthony to serve you by a wondrous way of life in the desert, grant through his intercession that denying ourselves, we may always love you above all things. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. In those days, Samuel said to Saul, Stop. I will tell you what the Lord said to me this night. And he said to him, Speak. And Samuel said, Though you are little in your own eyes, and you are not the head of the tribe of Israel, the Lord anointed you the king over Israel. And the Lord sent you on a mission and said, Go, devote to destruction the sinners, the Amalekites, and fight against them until they are consumed. Why then did you not obey the voice of the Lord? Why did you pounce on a spoil and do what was evil in the sight of the Lord? And Saul said to Samuel, I have obeyed the voice of the Lord. I have gone on the mission on which the Lord sent me. I have brought Agag, the king of Amalek, and I have devoted the Amalekites to destruction. But the people took up the spoil, sheep and auction, the best of the things devoted to destruction, to sacrifice to the Lord your God in Gilgal. And Samuel said, Has the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to listen than the fat of rams. For rebellion is as the sin of divination, and presumption is as iniquity and idolatry, because you have rejected the word of the Lord. He has also rejected you from being king. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response shall be, to one whose way is blameless, I will show the salvation of God. To one whose, whose way, way is blameless, I will show the salvation of God. I do not rebuke you for your sacrifices. Your offerings are always before me. I do not take more bullocks from your farms, nor goats from among your herds. Response, to, to one whose way is blameless. blameless. I will, I will show, show the salvation, salvation of, of God. God. How can you recite my commandments and take my covenant on your lips? You who despise correction and cast my words behind you. Response, to, to one whose way is blameless, I will show the salvation of God. You do this and should I keep silence? Do you think I am like you? I accuse you, 
lay the charge before you. A sacrifice of praise gives me honor, and to one whose way is blameless, I will show the salvation of God. Response, to, to one whose way is blameless, I will, I will show the salvation, salvation of, of God. God. Kindly stand for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The word of God is living and active discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, John's disciples and the Pharisees were fasting. And people came and said to Jesus, Why do John's disciples and the disciples of the Pharisees fast? but your disciples do not fast? And Jesus said to them, Can the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast in that day. No one sews a piece of unshrunk cloth on an old garment. If he does, the patch tears away from it, the new from the old, and a worse tear is made. And no one puts new wine into old wine skins. If he does, the wine will burst the skins, and the wine is destroyed, and so are the skins. But new wine is for fresh Wine skins. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to the Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, people were asking for a king. Just like other nations, surrounding nations had their own kings, they too wanted to have a king. And God told them that I am your king, why else, why do you want another king? But they were not ready to accept. God also showed them that if there is a king, what will happen to them? Finally, God anoints a king, King Saul through Samuel. Now Saul is told to attack the Amalekites. When people of Israel were coming out from Egypt and they were walking through the wilderness, time and again Amalekites used to attack them. They were not ready to accept Israel as God's people. And they had destroyed many of the Israelites. They had killed, and a lot of other sins they had committed. And therefore, the voice of the Lord through Samuel came to Saul to destroy them, to destroy the sinners. Saul accepted that he would do as has been told by, by the Lord. But we have heard in the reading, 
he spared the life of the king, King Agag. He did not kill him because some of his companions, some of his people told him not to kill. So he heard them, not God. He was brought alive. And also, God had told them not to lay hands on the booty of the loot. But there also, they did disobey God. So, some rams, sheep were brought to be offered to the Lord. And when Samuel confronts Saul, what have you done? You have disobeyed the voice of the Lord, the message of the Lord. Saul is not ready to accept his mistake. He tries to give excuses. Two times he does that. He says, but uh, we have uh, destroyed everything else. Samuel challenges him, but you have spared the life of the king. You are told to destroy him. And what about the wealth that you have brought from there? So Saul, uh, during that time, becomes a little stubborn also not to accept. And Samuel tells him on his face the blunder that he has done. And Samuel is very displeased. And he tells him, God has rejected you. God is displeased with your behavior. God himself, you see, if you read that chapter 15, God is not at all happy with Saul. Saul was anointed by the Lord himself to lead the people of Israel. And now, as a leader, he has failed to obey God. And therefore, later on, we will see King David will be appointed. Disobedience to the Lord is what displeases the Lord. We know the, the parable in Matthew chapter 21, where the two sons, parable of the father and the two sons are told to go to the vineyard and work. The first one says, I will go, and he does not go. The second one says, I will not go, and then he changes his mind and he goes. Jesus gives this parable in contrast between tax collectors, prostitutes, who will change their lives, though initially they said no to, the law, to God's word, but later on they will change. They will enter the kingdom of the Lord. But those who say, yes, I will obey, the so-called religious, the scribes and the Pharisees, they will not enter because they said, yes, we will follow the Lord, we will obey his command, but they disobeyed him. In Acts chapter 5, where St. Paul is persecuted, he is given dhamkis, strong warnings not to preach in the name of the Lord. He says, I am going to speak in the name of the Lord. I choose God, His word, not your word. I choose God's authority over yours. So this is how we need to make choices. We need to discern. There is nothing more important than following, obeying the word of the Lord. Once we are convinced, once we know the truth, once we know what God wants us to do, then no turning back, no listening to our voice, no listening to the voice of the evil one, but only listening to God's word, to his voice and obeying his word only. This is the message that God wants us to have today in the first reading. And one who obeys the Lord, he is with the Lord. One who disobeys the Lord, he is not with the Lord. And one who is with the Lord will always be joyful. The disciples of John and some Pharisees come and ask Jesus' disciples why they do not fast. And Jesus tells them, as long as the bridegroom is with them, they will not fast. As long as we are with the Lord and Jesus is with us, we will we will be in that joyful state. 
even in our bad times in our sufferings when we experience the presence of the lord we will be filled with joy and that's the reason there will be no fasting with the lord we can fulfill what god wants us to do with the lord jesus we can obey god's will he himself has shown us how to be obedient he till death he has obeyed jesus himself being the son of god shows us the way how to obey god's word god's will in this eucharistic celebration let us ask the same lord to teach us obedience to follow his ways to do his will for the offertory we shall take the hymn b9 united in one body united in one body with jesus christ the lord we bring to you our offering of bread and wine o god we are the wheat of christ if we be ground in the mill of life may we be found pure bread united in one body with jesus christ the lord we bring to you our offering of bread and wine o god pray brethren that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and for the good of all his holy church may these offerings of our service placed on your altar in commemoration of saint anthony be acceptable to you o lord we pray and grant that released from earthly attachments we may have our riches in you alone through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for in the saints who consecrated themselves to christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come and so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim holy holy holy, holy, holy lord, lord god, god of hosts heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory, glory. Hosanna, hosanna in the, the highest blessed, blessed is he who comes, comes in, the in the name of the lord, lord. Hosanna, hosanna in the, the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Philip, Neri, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer by Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into myself. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, 
come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. For the communion we shall take the hymn, Come, Jesus, Come. Jesus, come into this heart of stone. Come, Jesus, come into this heart of stone. Melt it and mold it and make it your own. Come, Jesus, come into this heart of stone I'm not ashamed to tell you Lord that I'm a sinner man I just love to do the things that go against your plan come Jesus come into this heart of stone Come, Jesus, come into this heart of stone. Let us pray. Nourished for our healing by your sacraments, O Lord, may we escape every snare of the enemy unharmed, just as by your grace, St. Anthony won glorious victories over the powers of darkness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth to proclaim the good news. Thanks be to God. For the recessional hymn we shall take M23, Sing Life, Sing Love, Sing Jesus. Sing life, sing love, sing Jesus. Sing out wherever you are. Sing life. Sing love, sing Jesus, sing out whoever you are. Life is around us to use or abuse, life in the great or the small. Each one of us has a power to choose. Whether to notice or just ignore life's call Sing life, sing love, sing Jesus Sing out whoever you are Sing life, sing love, sing Jesus Sing out whoever you are 